Um, a short uh, overview, uh, tell a little bit about what we're going to do today and then just uh, jump into it. Um, yeah, Julie and I, uh, we have tried to come up with uh, a nicely diverse uh, set of readings and uh, pre-recorded lectures. Uh, we were very happy to have uh, Professor Sterling Smith and Wesley uh, come up uh, with, with their talks. Uh, they're, they're really uh, experienced uh, researchers uh, and we know they have a lot to talk uh, about uh, this topic. Um, we hope and kind of assume that you have been uh, watching uh, these uh, videos beforehand. Uh, if not, uh, they are warmly recommended. Uh, they're, they're, really, they're really fun, really uh, interesting. Um, it is possible to follow today uh, without having uh, seen them uh, before, but it, uh, it, it will help. Uh, then there's the readings, uh, also quite diverse. Um, the one of Greer and colleagues, uh, I think, is the relatively easier one. Uh, if you had some difficulties with uh, Smith and Sturley and uh, Poole and colleagues, uh, that is understandable uh, because it's, it's, uh, it's relatively uh, more difficult uh, material. Um, please just ask uh, questions about that. Um, so the pre-recorded lectures and the readings together, that's already quite a lot uh, to uh, entertain you, uh, I would say. Uh, plus today's live session, in the end, what we calculated is some 16 hours. Uh, depends also a bit what your own uh, interest and attitude is uh, in this regard. In principle, you could spend a uh, much, much longer time uh, on this if you want, if you go through all the references and all. Um, and as you know, there's, there's no exam on this anyway. Uh, we only basically ask you to uh, active, actively participate in this uh, session. Uh, so for today, um, after a short intro session uh, talk, uh, I, I will present uh, my own uh, encounters with paradox. And after uh, Julia, I will do the same. Um, and after the second break, there will be uh, just one half hour uh, for, for you to talk amongst yourselves. Uh, how you're actually going to uh, deploy these nice uh, paradoxes, uh, ideas, uh, and then we're, there will be a closing discussion. Uh, throughout the whole session, I would really like to encourage you to uh, place all kinds of remarks and questions uh, in the chat. Not sure we can uh, answer them uh, during our session, but e even then uh, we can read them and we can uh, get back to you uh, later. And I need to say that at the moment, as I'm presenting this, I'm not seeing uh, things in the chat happening. So you, if you want to, to get my attention, you have to have your uh, camera on and wave. And maybe you have a chance or put it in the chat and Julia can transmit it to me. Um, yeah, so the basic idea is uh, the transitions that they're all about these paradoxes that you, uh, that you find them throughout because transitions are processes of transformation, uh, because they revolve around uh, the duality between uh, structure and agency, uh, and because uh, research, researchers are part of the transition processes uh, that they study. And also that is a source of paradox. Um, this should be nothing new to you because uh, I assume that you have seen at least uh, some of those videos and read some of the articles. Uh, and I think the basic question to ask yourself throughout is, uh, do you recognize all of this and how do you recognize this? Uh, do you see the links with, uh, with your own research and development? Um, and what we hope is that our session, that it helps you to uh, methodologically uh, get some kind of grip on these paradoxes and get a bit beyond the insight that there are paradoxes in transitions research. 